The debate of whether or not university students should return to campus is on the minds of many. But for those in the trans community who experience higher rates of domestic violence and assault, staying home may present dangers of its own. I do worry a little bit about, you know, what our folks are experiencing at home, um, especially folks who maybe don't feel comfortable being out. Um, and so they're navigating, you know, um, kind of multiple layers of how can I act in front of this person? Is this person safe? Is this person not safe? Erwin, a trans man who teaches on trans issues at UNO, says he is concerned with the safety of those who may be doing online only classes. He says even if it's not a hostile environment, the stress of passive discrimination can affect students. Because I think one of the biggest things is just feeling isolated, right. um, feeling alone, feeling like you're the only person who's experiencing this around you. One way trans students have been connecting is through online groups and meetings. Jesse Hitchens with the university's Gender and Sexuality Resource Center says they will be offering help for those in distress, both online and in person. Because we know that um, people are in their houses with their abusers, um, we are going to be offering um, in-person experiences because that's probably going to be one of their only opportunities to talk with an advocate one-on-one -on -one about what their needs are and safety planning and all those things related to that. So. Another resource the university is providing is its gender-inclusive housing, something Irwin says is needed, with 40% of trans youth experiencing homelessness at some point in their lives. While many may be facing violence or homelessness, the experience has brought the community closer together online, and for some who felt safe enough, it gave them the courage to talk to their loved ones. You know, one of the things that I'll actually say might might be a silver lining in, in all of this is that at least for one of the, the students that I've worked with um, over the spring and the summer, um, they actually were able to come out because that they, they were stuck at, at home with their family members. Reporting in Omaha, Jessica Edson.